Hey everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. In our last HBase tutorial, we have seen how to create a table in HBase and how to retrieve the records from the created HBase table. Let's move ahead and see how we can do some more uh, basic operations like updating a record and deleting a particular record from the HBase table. Before that, let's see how to list the already created table in the HBase. Okay. So for that, we have a list command. So this particular table will list down how many tables are already created into the edge base table into the edge base. Sorry. Okay. So here, as you can see, the output of list uh, query or command is we already have the two tables that we have created. This cus table was uh, I have already created this. And in our last tutorial, we have created this customer table. Okay. So it has written us that two rows that means two tables are uh, created one is cust and another one is customer now let's see how we can fetch all the records that are present in the customer table so there are two ways to get the records one is kind of a select star uh, the typical way to retrieve the data from the table is by doing the select star from table name okay so on the same lines in edge base we have something called as scan okay so what you need to type here is you have to type scan and name of the uh, name of the table so what this particular table or what this particular command will give you as output is the row id which is nothing but the one uh, if you remember the table creation command or uh, the way we have inserted the record into the customer table is for all the records that we have inserted into the customer family the row id that we have given was one okay so this is where it has displayed this particular row id we call this particular thing as row id in the edge based terminology and these are the details of the actual record that we have created so what does this say that name of the column so here the name of the column is going to be the combination of column family and the actual column name okay so column family is customer contact details and the email is the actual column name okay and it has the value of rahul roy at the rate gmail.com right and then on the same lines we have three more column mobile first name and last name first name and last name are from the customer information column family and they have their associated values okay so now let's first see uh, and sorry one more uh, way uh, to retrieve the record is by selecting the row id okay so for that we have this get so get customer which is nothing but your table name and here you need to give the row id so this will give you all the records with the row id is equal to one from the customer table right the data that it is going to give you is gonna remain same okay only the representation and uh, you know few minor differences in the syntax are present here but the data retrieval or the output that we are ge getting is still the same there is no different uh, as such okay now let's see uh, what we can do to update let's say we wanted to update the mobile number of id is equal to row id is equal to one and the column that we wanted to update is this okay so it is exactly the same put command that we need to give even though we wanted to update the uh, particular record there is no change as such in the way we will uh, do the update query okay generally in our rdbms uh, terminology or uh, syntax if you just compare there are two different queries one is one is a separate query to insert the record into the table and for update we have altogether a separate query like update table name you know then set uh, column name is equal to whatever update value and some where condition if you have but here the exact same put query will work to update a record only the difference will be like whatever value we wanted to update uh, it with that we need to give as a new value right so i'll show you uh, by updating this particular mobile number so if you just uh, you know track the current mobile number right so that we can see whether it is really updated or not so it is something like 9999767767 now 
let's try to update the update this particular mobile uh, number okay so for that i'm gonna write the same query put customer id is equal to one and then name of the column family the one which i wanted to update right i'll write the same and then the actual value let's say i wanted to write a separate different mobile number for example i'll write like let's say 8888999999 okay or 9990000 okay so this is what so it has updated this it said it has updated this and now let's say if we scan the customer table then we should get the updated mobile number ideally right so here if you see the mobile number is updated with whatever value we have given here okay so earlier the mobile number was 9999 and after inserting or after updating that with this particular put command it has changed with whatever newer value we have given to this particular column okay so understanding or a takeaway from this particular session would be let it be a insert or update the command uh, to do this particular thing is in edge base is still the same only the difference would be the value that you wanted to update this particular thing with okay and this is how the column oriented uh, tables or the updation in the column oriented table uh, you know works okay i hope uh, you understood this particular uh, concept of how to update a record into the edge base thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video thank you